Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Lung over at Allendale's Trading Floor. It is Tuesday, May 4th, starting the day off with some support here on the overnight session. Nothing huge in the way of volume, uh, but seen some inside days at this point with yesterday's big bean bar being down about 40 cents off its highs at the close, and at one point almost 50 cents off its highs. So as of right now, it will be interesting to see if we do get any kind of breakout, especially on those beans, but it will be... At this point, with how the market's moving, looked to be pretty difficult here on the day. Corn uh, high from yesterday was 6.98, so something we'll definitely be watching here today. Now on the macro side of things, we had crop progress out yesterday, and just as expected, we saw some pretty great progress in getting corn, beans, wheat all in the ground over the last week with dry and warm conditions. Corn at 46%, beans 24%, with spring wheat. 49% planted and winter wheat conditions dropped 1% to 48% good excellent. And as we're watching these May contracts and seeing how they've been interacting here recently with the spreads between the May and July, it's very interesting to note the very low open interest that has been pushing these to these very astronomical and very aggressive highs uh, that we've been seeing here recently on lower volume. So something to continue to watch, especially with what seems like one side of the either buyers or sellers looking to get out day to day and really move the market pretty well. So something to be watching. Uh, dollar energy to find strength this morning with the G7 leaders meeting in London today. So something to definitely be watching for any headlines that come out in regards to that, in regards to any steps taken on the world stage. Uh, to combat the coronavirus and getting vaccines out, which should be beneficial for crude, looking for a return to somewhat normalcy. And finally, on the grain side of things, everyone's been watching this Brazil situation, the dryness concerns that are very prevalent, uh, but not completely seeing all the numbers that are uh, being thrown around compared to where they should be. And as of last year, you had a record crop of 102 million metric tons for Brazil's corn crop. And of this year, we're at a 104.1. So a new record crop just continues to shrink, which is the main bullishness behind this. So if you do start to see that stabilize, could be something that we refocus on the fact of it is still a large crop. But as of right now, we are continuing to see this shrinking of ideas. So something to be watching there. On the livestock side of things, box beef, yeah, choice up 280, select up 74 cents, and pork car uh, carcass up a dollar 20. For the technical side of things, we left the gap open here on the most active corn chart at 673 and a quarter, with as of right now an inside day on the chart. So we'll be watching for either breakout of the highs or a comeback and test of the gap. But as of right now, we're watching this open interest continue to drain as this market's running higher. And at what points do we have people that aren't willing to be sellers, aren't willing to be buyers, but are willing to be liquidating positions? And with the fund position, as long as it is, could be problematic if we do find out that the sellers were the old buyers. So something to be watching, keeping a close eye on open interest while we sit up here. Our new weekly snapshot is available now. Next week's will be delayed a day, so be watching for that release next Tuesday as opposed to the typical Monday release. If you have not signed up for any of it yet, please give Zach a call at 800-262-7538. Any questions for me directly, 815-578-6177. But for Allendale, this is Mike Lung. You guys have a great one out there.